Hi guys, welcome back to the Batcave, and I think I got this lighting thing under control, so no more dark videos. I apologize for those uh, that I had in the past, but uh, I, I think we're good, and I, hopefully you guys can see me now. But this week's movie review is going to be Keanu. Not, not Keanu from The Matrix, but actually Keanu, the most adorable kitten in the world. And uh, this film was actually brought to you by the guys from Key and Peele. So it's going to be starring Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele. But we also get appearances from uh, Jason Mitchell from Straight Outta Compton. We also get Method Man in this film. We also get Will Forte and Anna Faris, who had a great kind of cameo that I hadn't even known that she was in this film. Um, and you, 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 if you, when you see the film, you, you're going to love her little, scene, her little scene that she's in. Um, but the plot of this film actually takes place with uh, Jordan Peele's character. And uh, he, recently, he just recently broke up with his ex, so he's kind of down and out. And uh, this kitten, um, obviously Keanu, shows up on his doorstep and kind of helps him kind of piece his life back together. Uh, I will say with that point of the plot, it, it is totally a spoof of John Wick. And they don't make any, uh, they don't even take it lightly. They make a lot of John Wick references throughout this film, as well as Keanu Reeves references throughout this film. So I actually really love that about the film, that it, it didn't take its taste take itself too seriously, but it didn't go overboard on the spoofing part to where it just becomes a big joke. It still was a movie that could stand on its own if you hadn't seen John Wick or really knew who Keanu Reeves were. You may have missed those few jokes, but that, I mean, I, I'm getting off the point. <laughs> All right, so. The back to the plot. So the cat kind of helps him get up off the couch, kind of gets his life back together. And uh, then one day the cat gets taken from him. So now uh, Jordan Peele and uh, <laughs> Keegan-Michael Key have to try and find this cat. And if you're a fan of their uh, the Key and Peele show, then you've known like some of their skits where they do where they have to be gangster or be tough. So in this, they kind of go into the underworld and have to have that same gangster pers uh, persona. And so it's a, it's something that you're if you're a fan of the show you you kind of fall right into it you know where they're going with the comedy so uh, that's pretty much the plot of the film and how they try to get the kitten back now as I do in these in these reviews all the time we always talk about the goods and the bad so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the goods the guess the best thing that I like about this film is uh, it's a cat. I'm not even a cat person but the cat's freaking adorable and every time it's on screen all it does is make you want to go aww Oh, that poor kitten, blah, blah, blah. So you you kind of buy in the fact that he's doing all this stuff, even though the plot's kind of ridiculous about how much he, the story's kind of ridiculous about how far he goes to get this kitten back. And also, if you look at all the side characters that deal within the film, how much they want to keep this cat. So you're kind of, it's a little bit on the ridiculous side, but it's a comedy, so you kind of let things go and just kind of move forward with it. So uh, I did love the tying the cat into it, just like in John Wick with the little puppy that they made you get attached to they make you get attached to this kitten and then you, you buy into the story uh also buy in i mean like i said if you're a fan of key and pill the um the chemistry that they have on screen and you know if, if i can't even imagine them doing any type of film with somebody else or any type of comedy with somebody else um the action in this film was actually pretty good for a comedy i did not expect to see much action in this thing and it does have uh, a few action set pieces that that kind of go through and you really into it and kind of get you kind of gets you there but um those are the things that i really liked about the film so i guess we're going to go on to uh the bads of this film is that it didn't have enough comedy. It didn't have enough comedy. It's one of those films, one of those comedy films where you feel like, okay, I'm really excited, I like it, and then you don't feel like you laughed enough to feel like you really enjoyed it. Now, I will say that this is not a bad film. I mean, outside of the fact that I felt like it should have had more comedy, but it took away a little bit from me being a fan of the show, since uh, I'd seen them do sketches like this before to where it wasn't the first time he's seeing it, so I expected them to give us a little bit more. It seemed like this was built around the fact that people who hadn't seen their actual show and more along the lines, it was like, oh, we're just we're we're kind of kind of make fun of John Wick. Now, with that, uh, one of the things I would guess to jump back to goods real quick, which I which I normally don't do, is that the uh, I mentioned the uh, spoofing before with the John Wick references. It has a great, uh, great, great. Keanu Reeves reference. Uh, when you get to it, it'll just kind of, you weren't expecting it, it'll be great. So that was another good thing about, about it. So like I said, my only thing that I had as far as the bads with this film is that it didn't have enough comedy. Not enough to make me feel like, uh, 
I really enjoyed myself in a film. It's okay if it comes on and you know it's on cable or on Netflix or on Hulu or something like that. I'll probably watch it again, but um, eh, it was just eh. That's all I can really say. It's just eh. Uh, should you see it? I will tell you that if you've never seen Kim Peele's comedy, definitely go see it. You'll love it. Their back and forth on screen is great. You'll definitely be into it. If you're a big fan of Kim Peele and you just watch everything that Kim Peele are in, then you'll definitely want to see this film because it is 90 minutes of Kim Peele. I mean, the cat's in it. But, <laughs> and like I said, there's other, there's other um, smaller um, cast people that show up in it that do have, you know, integral parts. But, you know, it's definitely 90 minutes of Kim Peele. Um, but outside of that, um, yeah, it's, it's just an okay comedy film. Um, right now, it's probably the only one that's out there. So, I mean, if you want to go out and see a comedy film, go out and go check it out. So, um, I guess that's going to bring us up to next week. Uh, next week is Civil War. So, probably the next week's movie review. I'll probably do a non-spoiler movie review by myself. And then uh, when we get to the Goods Podcast... Me and Manny will actually do a, a full spoiler review where we talk about Civil War in total, which hopefully by then he will have seen the movie. <laughs> so like what I always say in these films, uh, in these videos, that uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Tell me how you felt about the movie. I kind of felt like maybe it, I missed I missed a lot of things, so maybe rewatching it, I missed some jokes, or maybe as they said in, it'll get better. So tell me in, in the comments what you felt about it. If you went to go see it, if you liked it, if you didn't, and make sure you subscribe because we do a weekly uh, movie review. I try to pick something out of the ordinary, not too many blockbusters, unless it's something super. But um, you'll also get uh, you'll get to find out about some films maybe you weren't really on the top of your radar uh, going to see, but maybe something you might want to go out and take a look. So with that being said, um, see you guys next week.